Affirmative. Command acknowledged. Initializing. System ready. This is the Marauder. Back with Planet Explorers 8.2 slash 8.3 Alpha Newt's Journeys Steam Edition Episode 04 We need to start considering the long-term strategy here. I think we need to find a way to go to where the Epiphany crashed. Before that, we need to regroup with all the survivors around here. That'll be your job. The path to redemption. Sure, but you really don't have a choice in this matter, do you? You can either find some survivors and live or die on your own. Warning. All hands to lifeboats. Evacuate the ship immediately. Launching escape pods. Warning. Guidance controlling more operative. Venting plasma. Red alert. Emergency. Glide trajectory corrupted. Brace for impact. Initializing. And so it begins. System ready. Backup systems online. Automatic pilot disabled. Emergency crews to your stations. Emergency crews to your stations. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. As the first humans to ever venture out this far into the frontier, I cannot emphasize how proud I am to have made this journey with you, all of you. I look forward to us building a new home together. Let us make Baria into a shining beacon of the human civilization. Many rivers we had to cross, but we finally found our way. Separation complete. We are going for atmospheric entry burn in three, two, mark! Emergency Get out of here! Go to the down. Fire in fuselage. Implementing emergency systems. Hayloft system engaged. Evacuate the ship immediately. Episode 04. The Outlands. Activating. Good morning. Well, we're back. Today, Newt sets out to go find Chen Zen and David Sly. First thing to do is make sure you've got everything you need before leaving Alan Carter's camp. Oh, by the way, when buying things like ladders and staircases, they regenerate over time. It's not immediate anymore, and it's not within five minutes or ten minutes. It's over a longer period of time. So don't think that you can buy one ladder, then close his inventory, open it back up, and get another one, another one, and another one. It doesn't work that way. So just be aware of that little factor. Now, here we've got a little creature. Um, it uses camouflage to survive. A very nice addition to Planet Explorers. It looks like a plant, but when you interact with it, it's kind of hard to hit, kind of hard to kill, but it can do great damage to you. Be aware of it. Ladders, I suggest you get them early, and then come back to him later on and get more. Staircases, eh, that depends on how you build things. Ladders will come in handy for building your mines. Yeah, so when you're going to dig and you're going down in a hole, that ladder can get you out. So buy the steel ladder, they can link even to the wood ladder. They don't have to be the same material, buy them until you get the scripts to build them. Buy the headlamp also as well, and um, get the scripts to make your shovels and your stone stuff. I wouldn't bother to get the um, stone sword unless you're really a swordsman, but once you've built something out of wood and it's good enough, um, you can keep chopping these guys down with that for a very long time. But uh, upgrade here if you need to, because you don't know when you'll get back to Alan Carter. But I must suggest that you get the scripts for the tools. The tools are paramount get the scripts for the tools. If you want to do biscuits and that kind of stuff, you could, but you can always get plenty to eat out in the field hunting and gathering. If you want to upgrade your armor, go ahead. I'm not even going to bother. But your tools, upgrade your tools. You're off to find this Chen Zen. Spoiler alert, heads up. If you don't get any tools from Alan Carter, you'll get them from him. Plain and simple. And his are going to be better. So I won't bother with anything from Carter right now. But the choice when you play your game 
is yours. The bow looks promising, of course, and as a long-range projectile weapon, it's a must for me. It's my style of, of fighting. Now, like I always say, it's always a good idea to gather materials as you transport yourself from one location to the next. Since that I never use fast travel in the game, I'm always gathering something as I go along. Now, this tree here is of great interest, and I wanted you to see it because I just got 700 and, what, oh, 55 wood, a lot of resin. So, chop down those things. I call them stargates. But, um, you can call them the giant circular cactus, call them whatever you want. But, uh, I would suggest harvesting a few of those. You'll get a lot of wood and a lot of resin very quickly. It is true that they may take a while to chop down, but they are well worth it. Now here's the location on our map. The mini-map is um, down in the bottom right-hand corner. See that we are approaching the yellow circle, which means we are at our location. Hey, are you Chen? Yep, I'm a member of the Colony of Defense Force. So you found our camp, huh? Glad to see there are other survivors. Yeah, we survived. Barely. Oh. Tell me something. Do you know what happened during the landing sequence? Huh? I'm not really sure, but something definitely hit the ship. It didn't look like a weapon though. Nothing exploded. Maybe it was a space rock of some sort. The Epiphany fell to the north of here. We'll probably get the answers we need when we find that ship. Okay, so have you seen anyone else around? No, I haven't seen anyone in this area other than you. The lifeboats should be carrying beacons that usually light up an entire planet, but I'm getting nothing. I'm also having trouble using my shortwave set. There seems to be a lot of electromagnetic interference everywhere. Maybe it's from minerals underground, I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this. That goes ditto for me. Okay, so we leave from Chen Zen for a brief moment and jump into the editor. Again, I'm using the freehand select tool, also called a freehand brush, and I am changing the depth by using the plus and minus buttons on the keyboard. Once you've selected an area on the grid, use that to raise up and down, selecting how much material you want, and of course, just delete it if you so choose. Or in the inspector, which is off to the right-hand column, you can see there is the statistics and the inspector. The inspector is lit up blue. From inside here, you can alter the voxels, deleting them, filling them with different materials, and of course, using the feather brush system. I've been looking at the problem with um, getting the bed to go inside of the tent. Unfortunately, this does not work for vehicles because they have to be all together in one. But hopefully they come up with a way to let you uh, walk inside of a transport or a sp spaceship and walk through it. As for house structures, I've um, gone back and cut my ISO into sections, saving each one separately. So now I have uh, two sides, a back and a roof no bottom but that's okay once you have that done you can re-enter the game now it? usually before i go into the editor during game time or story time i save the checkpoint and then i go in sometimes you take a long time in the editor to build things you come back out and as you can see it's night time so night has fallen on maria so Tell me, Chen, what is this place? This here's a meteorite crater. I was doing some spectral analysis readings down here. It seems to be full to the brim with iron and copper. I think we could use some to build some defensive weapons around the camp. You think you can help me out? Mm. Sure thing. Okay then, gather up 30 units of copper, 20 units of iron, and 5 units of tin. And then I'll teach you how to build uh, some sentry turrets. What do you think? More guns? I'm game. Okay, here's an upgrade to your mineral scanner app. Take this and add it to your mobile PC. It'll help you to find iron and copper, okay? Remember now, tin is usually found right around copper, so you usually don't need an app to find it, okay? Good luck now. So we've got our mission. So we take a quick look at our scanner, and of course we'll click on the scripts in our inventory, and activating them, 
upgrading our scanner, which will then you will see the icons appear at the bottom, allowing you to click on them and then pressing the scan button to scan for each one individually, or clicking on all of them to scan for all of them at the same time. Interfacing. They will appear Upgrade as in different progress. colors as well. Scanning for so just resources. Pay to that. Scanning the map soil is 3D. composition. Use the scroll mouse to zoom in or and out, detect it. and then rotate Iron it by making detected. sure that your mouse cursor is inside of the um, the UI box uh, where you can see the grid and use it and drag up and down to look up, down and at different angles to see where you are and where the, the material is. As you dig holes you will actually be able to see the hole that you've dug on your scanner in case that you don't know if you're going left or right. Just zoom in for a closer look. There's a little icon in the middle of the scanner uh, almost like a spinning top. That's you. Zoom in on it and see where the white round circle is. The little white circle on the edge of the outer circle shows which way you are facing. So, copper shows up green, iron shows up red. Can you dig it? Now, before we set out, I'm going to go into Chin's inventory here. Reason being, he's got better tools, like I said. So, we're going to go inside and we're going to get us some copper tools. As soon as we get our hands on some copper, we'll be instantly able to build them, which means we'll gather more materials much more quicker. I'll also pick up any other things that I need, but I won't pick up things that will interfere with the storyline. Chin has, looks like, 722 pieces of meat, so you can only trade him so much. Remember that. There we've selected tools, and there it is. Copper axe, pickaxe, and shovel. We'll get those scripts and continue. Now, we don't want any of his monster beacons. Uh, we're here to, to dig, not to dig our own graves. In parts, you'll find that he's got a gun handle and gun muzzles. He only carries the SS, not the MS. MS will be more powerful. SS, just a beginner, but good enough to do some real damage. Get copper, make bullets. In his resources, he's carrying gunpowder and charcoal. Chin is also outfitted with the copper weapon set and the hunter armor. In turrets, he has his sentry turret, but we're doing a quest to get that. No need to buy it. In weapons, you see he's also carrying these little round things. Those are grenades. He's also carrying a microchip set and a script for food rations. Chin has a handgun and a rifle. We'll just get what we need. And remember, it doesn't take much to build your own, a much more powerful gun than he's going to give you. Every time you activate a script, it'll appear with the new logo next to it in your replicator. As he's carrying the iron bow, I think I'm going to build that instead of the wooden bow, but you'll need a bow string, which is plant fiber. So let's get started. Okay, I'm on my way. Newt heads out into the mine. And with that quick scan again, making sure we've got what we need, we continue on. Chen's materials. We've moved forward now. We've given Chen his items that he had requested, and Chen has given us a free turret along with the scripts to build them. Two free turrets, actually, and the scripts to build them. 
We've got another mission that we've got from him to hunt down the wolver rhino, the needle nose giraffe, and the harpy warbird. We've spent some time in the editor. I built this uh, echo gauntlet here. It was supposed to be smaller, but I can always go back and work on that. Just as he, so this is the first look, my first draft. Gauntlet it is, but underneath of that tech, it's a handgun. Now it does have an interesting look to it, but in the future, I'll make it smaller. So that was our little nighttime test. Command acknowledged. And now we dive back in and I'll show you the basics. It's a simple box shape. It's just a matter of where you put your muzzle and where you put the handle. And like I said, you can use the reference plane to rise the material into the air, to raise the material into the air. That's better grammar. Thank you. And from that point on, of course, you can angle your handles and muzzles wherever you want them to be. You can also make them invisible. You make the muzzle and the handle invisible. You can change the shape or the look of the item that you are building. Now, not all items can be invisible. Some can and some cannot. have aluminum, but I can change the basis of this to anything that I want. Wood, aluminum, metal, steel. And by doing that, the look stays the same, but the material underneath changes. So, that's iron. I can simply swap it out and continue. In the inspector, I can fill this material or delete it once it is selected with the mouse.
Captain Weapon. Oh, look, Newt killed Chen. Oh, well, I guess he's not dead. Okay, so Chen's up. It's, it's morning time, I guess, for him. Hey, Chen. Morning. Yes? I'm gonna set out, okay? Be careful of Now, since that, like I said, the NPC's inventory stock only recharges itself over time, I never try to buy everything that's in it. Especially if, I, if they're only carrying 100 gunpowder, I'll never buy the whole 100, maybe 50, maybe 75. Never the whole thing. And remember, you just built yourself a gun. Make some bullets. Continue on. We've got to do some hunting to return this mission for Chen and also find David Sly. Now for the field test. Like I said, if the creatures don't move faster, they don't stand a chance. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Pulse is normal. That's what happens when they get there too close. There is no pulse. Activating. Revival shot. Reviving. Subject. Ouch. Damn it. Each creature, of course, has its own attack. Learn them. Yeah, bigger creatures usually don't attack you head on. They do a kind of a stomp ground. The shockwave itself is enough to take you out. Echo. Improving your armor can help with the resistance, but usually it'll still take you in about one hit. Um, stronger armor as you move up through the storyline is available. We'll see how that works out. Now, you notice that Newt's not moving very fast, because like I said last time, you get taken out. Your stamina bar drops, not just your HP. When you are recovered, you have to recover your own HP and recover your stamina by Hostiles yourself. Detected. 
bandages will only recover your HP, not your stamina. You have to eat something. Heartbeat. Erratic. Handguns are lodged on your hip, whereas rifles will be lodged on your back. Swords are also lodged on your back. Ooh, another stinking pile of hot poo. Well, gonna need it later, so we'll pick this up and watch this intricate fight between a fire bear and the needle-nosed giraffe. Best to attack him while he's distracted. Now you see what I did there? I killed the giraffe before he could finish it off, which gives me the giraffe that I need for my quest. So remember your locations and check them out on your map. This is the meteor crater where you found Chen Zen. You can even use a marker on the map settings and put what kind of materials are at that location in case you need a reminder. I'm betting that's your harpy warbird. Just gotta find the wolver rhino next. Now, note to your survival. Giraffes usually move in packs and will retaliate in packs. Apart from that, they are passive creatures, but they will defend themselves. And they fire a dart made of cartilage, bone, so it hurts, and they can kill you. Now here's an interesting underground cave structure. We will be sure to mark this on our map. We can name it whatever we want so that we can remember it. We'll come back to it and see what we can get out of it some other time. Right now, it's the hunt for the Wolver Rhino as we travel across the, gr the grasslands into the outlands to find David Sly. Access in GPS. We can also choose what we want to place as an icon. I choose the diamond to show that it's a place to go mining. Now we'll give a quick scan. Scanning. Now there's no massive deposits of iron or copper down there, at least from this angle, but when we get more apps for our scanner, there may be something down there useful to us. Now that strange mushroom-like thing in the background, I believe that's where the icon is taking us. We'll stop by the water side and set up a camp. Now here's the ultimate test of our little tent. This is your reminder. It is lunchtime, Master. Your electrolyte count is low. Please restore. And it does work. You can move from one side to the next freely, which means you can place a bed inside and sleep, which gives you security from creatures no matter where you are. You don't have to go into build mode and try to build a structure. You don't waste any materials. You just set this little thing up. Boom. It is secure. Put some turrets on the outside and sleep well wherever you are. Initializing. With some quick altering inside of the editor, building a better back, and adjusting of the roof, it'll be absolutely 
perfect. Now we've got the materials to replicate ourselves a bow. You have our bow string. So we'll make a bow, and this will cut down on the amount of bullets that we're going to make and that we're going to need. Initializing. Your arrows, just like your bullets, end up in your resource slot and take your bow or your gun and equip it into your quick slot. Quickly accessed from the keyboard with items 1 through 9. It'll keep you alive without fumbling through your inventory. Rival shot. Med kit. Running low. Please restock. Well now, that's an interesting sight, quite opposing from the air, so we don't have to deal with this guy anytime soon. Remember, aerial creatures have a wider field of vision than ground creatures, so stay clear and watch for shadows. With a thousand arrows, you can do a, quite a bit of hunting and get quite a bit of meat. That's exactly what we'll do. Hostiles detected. Okay, it looks like this is the spot. This tree here has uh, the marker, and that's where we are going. Confirmed. Running self-diagnostics. Hmm. I guess this is David Sly's backpack, but no sign of him. 
I better take this back to Alan Carter. And with that, quick little rendezvous, Newt's off back to Alan Carter's camp, hunting and gathering backward across the landscape. She's already killed her lupus hares, three of them needed for a side quest from one of the boys in the camp who had injured his knee because of the hares and wanted his revenge. So we will drop those off when we reach the camp. Didn't find the wolf rhino. It can be an elusive creature. First things first, getting back to Alan Carter's camp. Once there, alerting him of the backpack situation. If you've liked what you've seen, please give a like and feel free to share this video and subscribe. Tell a friend. Thank you. This is the Marauder, thanking all of my subscribers so far and my viewers. The Builders and the Modders. Special thanks to IncomeTech.com for the royalty-free music. Well, this is the Marauder with Planet Explorers 8.3. Alpha. Newt's Journeys. Steam Edition. I'm out.